Hello all. All right, I'm going to present a short video on how to create motion imaging. All right, so images that have motion behind them, are they moving left or right, you know, circular motions, whatever you're going to create um, on your timeline. So in order to do that, and I'm using PowerDirector 365. So there's other versions of PowerDirector um, pre prior to 365. And it's probably pretty much all in line they're using the same um, method. Nevertheless, let's get started. First, ensure that you have your image in your media content window. That's the media content you see up top here. I'm clicking with the, um, um, where you see the little film and the, and the music. It says media content. Click on that. And that's going to expose all of your pictures <coughs> or your media content. All right. Next thing we're going to do is select the image that you want. So I'm taking my voucher image because that's what we're working with right now. And I already have my line, my timeline already set, okay, where I want to place my image. So all we have to do at this point is just drag it down, drag it down right there, and drop it, release. Now you can see it up here in the top window. Next, we're going to double click on the actual image we just placed on the timeline. And that's going to open up another window, which is PIP Designer. PIP, you know, naturally that's picture in picture. So you can see the actual voucher here. Now we're going to uh, shorten the actual size, reduce the size of the actual image by clicking on the edge and I just you know bring it in that's a good size right there I think that's good and it's still quite visible to the audience my next step will be to cause a fade in and fade out effect so there are two tabs on the PIP designer one called properties and the other for motion so under the properties we're going to go down and naturally we're going to expand. Just click on the arrow next to fade and then click a check in the box next to fade. All right. And then for the actual fade actions that we want, we have to select the check there as well. So we're going to check enable fade in and we're going to check enable fade out. Now that creates our fade effect. Next, I want to click on motion. Now, in the motion, you go down to the path. You can expand the path, right? You got path, rotation setting, motion blur. So, you want path. So, we're going to expand the path. And we're going to see all sorts of motion activities accessible to you. All right? Now, the one I'm particularly looking for, I wanted to go just pretty much in a 360 on the actual um, viewing pane. So I'm going to click this circle effect and you can see it's, it's going in a 360 direction and that should be the movement of my image. So I can review this over here in the view pane uh, by clicking on the play button here. See, make sure the timeline is all the way back to the uh, beginning of it. Hit begin. A 30 day like, voucher. That's right. All you have to do good. is. Yes, yeah, see how it faded in and faded out? Very well. So now we're going to click OK. So it places on our timeline correctly. Now at this point, since I'm on my time, I'm just going to move it back just a little bit and then I'm going to play it just to see if it lines up with my hand gestures. It's the T, and I have an exclusive offer just for you. A 30-day voucher. Yes. That's right. All you have to do is, while watching this video, that is correct. And that's all you have to do, folks. All right. Hopefully you learned something, and uh, have a blessed day.